Good day, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May, and welcome to Online Escuela. Please don't forget to subscribe. Today, our discussion is still on matter, but we will focus on pure substance. What is a pure substance? A pure substance is a matter that is made up of only one kind of particle and has a fixed or constant structure. And Unlike the mixture, pure substance is a matter which cannot be separated into any other kind of material when using the physical or chemical process. Let's have a comparison. We have here granite and gold. Granite is an example of a mixture because it is made up of different kinds of minerals. On the other hand, Gold is an example of pure substance because it is made up of only one kind of material, and that is gold. Based from our previous discussion, we mentioned that pure substance can either be elements or compounds. Elements An element is a substance that is made from one kind of atom only. It cannot be broken down into simpler substances. Now, let's put emphasis on one kind of atom. For example, we have here circles of the same size and color. These are atoms of purple element. Again, these are squares of the same size and color. These are atoms of green element. As you can see, each element should have the same color, shape, and sizes because elements should be made from one kind of atom only, regardless of how many it is as long as it is only made up of one kind of atom. Compounds A compound is a substance that is made from more than one element. In here, the purple element is combined with a green element. When an element is combined with another kind element, they will be called as compound. Another example. This is a compound. This type of compound is made up of three elements. The purple element, the blue element, and the green element. This is an element. As you can see, each object inside the box is made from the same kind, color, and shape. So these are the atoms of red element. Then, when one atom is attached to another atom of the same kind, it is called molecules. So we have here molecules of red element because again the atoms are attached to one another next these are the atoms of black elements combined with the atoms of red element so in this box we have a compound then again when the atom of black element is attached to the atom of red element they will become compound. So these are the molecules of compound. 
And lastly, in this box, we have compounds, elements of green and elements of blue. Having them all together in this box, they can be described as mixture of elements and compounds. Let's try this one. Match the names found on your right to the boxes found on your left. Now, what is the name of the first box? Very good! It is called molecules of an element. What about the second box? Very good again! It is a compound of three elements. What about the third one? Yes! It is atoms of an element. And lastly, the fourth box is called mixture of compounds. Let's discuss the answer one by one. We have here two boxes which contains atoms of different elements. The first box contains atoms of blue element and the second box contains atoms of red element. The first box is called atoms of an element, while the second box also has atoms of an element. However, since the atoms are attached to one another, they are called molecules of an element. Next, these two boxes contain compounds, but the first box is called mixture of compounds because as you can see this box has three compounds the first one the second one and the third one and the second box is called compounds of three elements it has element of blue element of yellow and element of red Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this video. Till next time. Bye!